All right, so let's talk about what makes a woman regret losing you, all right? Um, unlike with men, with women, women are more, even if they regret you, more women, more often than not, will hide their regret because, not because they have more emotions to, like, they're emotionally stronger, but because they can use another man to transfer the emotions they had for you onto another man. So rather than get over you, they just recreate a version of you by finding a guy that kind of looks like you or that kind of resembles you. Almost like a, like a woman with daddy issues who dates a man who looks like her father in an attempt to redeem herself. So we're going we're gonna to talk about that. And it's very interesting because we're going to go into the psychology of regret, why regret happens, what types of women are more bound to feel regret. So stay tuned. This is going to be very interesting. And also, we're having a seminar in London. That's right. Um, I'm going to let you guys know the information about it, but we're having one in London, so stay tuned. And also, the link to purchase my the bundle was not working, the men's mud bundle. So click on the description down below because now it's actually working. You guys will be able to purchase all those the, the, the bundle for men tickets. And also, we're working on our course, Emotional Mastery, and most likely we will be releasing it sooner than I expected. So pre-order it right now because next week is going to go back to its normal price, all right? So with that being said, let's begin the video. First things first, let me just say for the forefront, the women that create, that have the most regret losing you, I'm going to talk about it in the video, but it's usually emotion, women who have a lot of like just mental health problems. And the reason why is because studies show that people regret the most are those who have emotion, who can't control their emotions, who are impulsive, impulsive people. And a lot of mental health issues come with impulsivity. So that means um, I'm bipolar. Um, that means depression. All of those people who suffer with that, sometimes they make hash decisions and usually you see when a woman breaks up with you the battle the scary ones are the ones that take a few months to come to the realization you shouldn't worry if the woman takes if a woman makes a decision to leave you out at the blue out of could because of an argument or because you cheated for example right like even if you cheated and she breaks up with you because you cheated that was a moment's decision a lot of times people come back even you come back from that Right. So those, those emotional outbursts that lead to breaking up usually leads to them coming back a lot of times. The number one type of regret that people have in life is not career regret. It's not financial regret. It's not parenting regret. It's not family regret, but romantic decisions. Most the regrets that people have the most is losing someone in, a, in their relationship. Right. So that's actually a good thing. Because a lot, most likely, there is someone out there who regrets losing you, right? But what makes somebody regret losing you? And how could you predict if the person that you're with regrets losing you? How could, how could you sense if they're going to regret losing you? So in this video, we're going to find out what that is, right? It's going to be very interesting because, you see, the unfortunately, the feeling of regret is in the long term, are more likely to do with decisions involving inaction, right? Maybe uh, I was talking to a girl and I didn't treat her the way she should have been treated, right? I, I regret, like, I've dated, I've dated, like, one girl who, she loved me a lot, but I didn't see it. I, honestly, I didn't see it. Like, I took it for granted. And to this day, I regret that, right? I, I regret not treating her well. So inaction is the number one cause of regret. <clears throat> that is choosing not to do something. This kind of regret is enhanced by our imagination then, which compares the real world with the visions of the best alternative world. You can never know how things would have turned out, but your mind can easily paint a rosy picture. And with those rosy picture, the brain creates the feeling of regret. The feeling of wanting to trade, wanting to trade this reality for the other. You see, regret a lot has to do with the human imagination. It, it is what makes us so unique. And regret usually shouldn't last so long. But because our imagination keeps reliving those regrets, it keeps those feelings alive. That's why practicing meditation uh, and purchasing my course, Emotional Mastery, is so important. Because if you control your imagination, you control your emotions, right? So most likely, 
a person, somebody that you're dating, man or a woman, to be honest with you, um, is most likely to regret his or her decision of leaving or hurting you if it was sudden and not thought out. You see, the, the, the higher someone, the, the, the highest likelihood that someone's going to regret losing you pretty much depends how sudden that decision was and how little they thought about it, right? People who think about leaving you and leave suddenly when they thought about it for a long time, they don't regret losing you. They really don't. But people who leave you because out of because of an emotional decision, for example, cheating. When somebody cheats on you, a lot of the time the pain is so deep that you leave and you leave out of impulse. And then you end up regretting it and coming back and looking silly. I mean, Lord have mercy, that's horrible. I, oh Lord, my God, let's not even start with that. Right. So they'll regret so so they regret their decision of leaving or hurting you if it was sudden and not thought out. Or they'll regret you if they know that you were good for them, right? So, for example, I dated a girl and she was really good for me. She was really good. But I wasn't in that stage to find a stable relationship, right? And so she left me, right? And and think, and now I'm at, a, I'm at a stage where I do want that. And as a result, now I regret losing her. The sad thing about regret is a lot of the times, once you realize what you've done, a lot of the times they don't, they're they not going to want you back, right? A lot of the times when somebody comes back to us, we don't want them back, which is the the, the irony of life itself. Now, we're going to go to a quick commercial break. All right, guys, we're going to have a brief intermission so that I can tell you guys about our new bundle that we're doing where you guys can purchase all of my courses and get it at a discount. So this bundle is pretty much um, the bundle where you could just buy all of my courses. You could buy um, Nice Guy, which is a training course on how to come across more assertive, how to come across more confident, um, how to not give off Nice Guy vibes. You guys can get access to Dark Game, um, which is my folk dating course on how to meet women in different scenarios, how to attract women, how to make sure you don't come across as creepy, and essentially how to act like a man and not act like a doofus, to be quite honest with you. Um, and you get all of these bonuses, which is the bonuses of Dark Game, the bonuses of Practical Mastery, uh, which is about how to master a skill, Social Mastery, which is how to master your social life, and the Laws of Human Nature, which is a book club video that I had dissecting robert green's book you, all of this is naturally at around 238 200 no naturally is at 346 dollars but you guys can purchase this bundle and get it at what what's the price again uh get it at um two 238 pretty much um so you guys can purchase it right now um it's a money money back 30 day money back guarantee uh it's a good way to rather than just buying them individually and paying extra you guys can just purchase everything at a discount price now the only thing i don't like is the fact that i'm giving you a lot of information at the same time that makes me kind of scared because a lot of times people don't do the things that i teach when i when you get too much information but I've gotten too many requests to do this, so I'm just satisfying you guys purchase it right now by clicking on the description down below where it says purchase the bundle. All right, let's continue with the video. Oh, and another thing that the link to purchase my bundle, my mindful attraction bundle where you can purchase all of my courses in one package, the link was broken. It wasn't working. So a lot of you guys told me about it and now we fixed it. So now you can click on the description down below and actually purchase it unlike last week. So my apologies for making a dead link to you guys, right? So it could be that, for example, like it could be that you dated someone and you try, and you try to help them and you were their, and you were their good side. For example, it's like, let's just say I'm dating a girl and in me, for example, I have the, the the complex where I like to date people who I can help, right? I, I'm, I'm, I like to help people. And so I always find myself dating people who I could help, right? Because you just end up liking them. And, and, and what happens is that you sort of become their goodness and they'll push you away because they're not ready for the help. But then a few years later, they come back. But then I'm over them, right? Once they're ready to change... Once they're ready to change, they'll come back to me. But now I'm over them, right? So it's kind of like when somebody's not ready for what you have to offer, they're gonna re they're gonna push you away. But then maybe they it's like somebody who wants a kid, right? Let's just say I don't want to have a kid, and a girl wants to have a kid with me, and then all of a sudden, a few years later, I want to have a kid, and then I think of her, 
Now all of a sudden, I regret doing what I did. But it, but it's, it's because now I'm in I'm at a different stage in my life, right? So those things cause regret. It's almost like so so the way that you change over time and just your neurochemistry. It's almost like when you get older, naturally people begin to get isolated as you get older. And if you don't have a family you're going to feel more isolated. And as a result, older people, a lot of older people regret not having kids because now they're alone, right? So it's kind of like life, circumstances causes the regret. Now, there are things you could do to cause people to regret losing you. But generally, a lot of it really never get consumed. A lot of it, you never really get the satisfaction of them regretting, regretting losing you because you don't give a fuck. And they never really get the satisfaction because they never really you you're because you're already over them, right? It's it's the unfortunate truth about life, you know. So let's talk about now. Okay, another thing, something else, right? Is that the guy is that the biggest regret tend to be related to social relationship research suggests, while the most enduring regrets tend to be for an act for action not taken exactly exactly now the people who will regret the most usually are people who make emotional decisions a lot people with a lot of bipolar people with adhd people who just make emotional a lot of people who do a lot of drugs right people who are who wire their brain for dopamine a lot of those people will make decisions harshly and they will and they will they'll regret it people with temper that kind of stuff they usually create those types of situations, right? So if you date those types of people, impulsive people, you know, addicted people, people who have a lot of mood swings, like who have emotional imbalances, they're going to do a lot of things and they're going to wait. And I mean, and they're going to come back and regret doing those things. Now, let's get on with the list of things that that makes a woman regret losing you, right? The first one is when they break up with you is seeing you with another woman and her loving you. Um, usually when a woman breaks up with you, they sort of hope that you don't find somebody else, right? Or that you don't find somebody better than her. And if you date a woman who's of her looks or slightly better, she will regret losing you a lot of the times. Now, it depends on the type of emotional connection. For example, if, if you wanted a relationship and she didn't want a relationship and you break up with her, and all of a sudden she wants a relationship and she sees you with another woman and she appreciating you, she's going to regret that, right? Um, and especially as women get older, they experience more regret. So a lot of the times guys see where when they're older, the women from their youth hitting them up, right? And, you know, I feel bad, right? It sucks having to go back to the old things, but, you know, that's, that's just life. Um, the second one is seeing you succeed in life. When success is the ultimate revenge as a man, right? Um, especially with other men, but for other women, when they see you finally succeed, they sort of say to themselves, now it depends, right? It depends on their situation. But a lot of times they they regret losing you because a lot of times picking the guy that succeeds is almost like a gamble. It's almost like, like a prospect, right? You don't know which ones get which one out of the top five picks. It's going to be like the, 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 the successful man because it's really hard to tell. I promise you, I think I'm a successful person. Most women in my life would, would have never guessed that, to be honest with you. Most people in general. Um, another thing that makes her regret losing you is not want to, is you not wanting her back. A woman could come back for, to you and ask you to take her back. And usually when, when that happens, a lot of the times they break up with you eventually. Why? Because people never do things just once. If somebody broke up with you once, they'll break up with you again. So what tends to happen is that they'll feel regret when you don't want them back. They'll re that's when a lot of people realize your true value when you don't want them back, right? It's one of the most ironic things. Um, the fourth one is getting in shape or glowing up, right? Some people just look ugly at, a, at certain stages of life. Or some people, some guys just look unattractive if, because they're just not in shape. A lot of guys transform the way they look by just changing their 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 um their physical you know getting in shape and changing their haircuts adding some jewelry and all of a sudden you look like a boss right and a lot of the times if they see that you're getting better looking that you that if they see that you're getting more successful they'll all of a sudden feel the regret now the last one is the most important one is her personal failures her her dating you and then dating other men and realizing you know what they had a good guy and again, this usually happens as they mature. This never happens when they're hot. If I'm being honest with you, 
this realization happens when, when, when they're older, right? And, and, and a lot of guys regret, get mad at that reality, but people, that's just life, all right? I'm sorry. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, I don't resent that reality, but that's just part of it. So she'll date someone, and a lot of guys would cheat her like shit, and then she'll say, you know what? When I was dating Tyrone, he was treating me good. Right. Or when I was dating Jamal, or I don't know, I don't know why they're all black. When I was dating Bob, he treated me good. Right. And as a result, that her failures will make her realize, you know what? I had that good. I had that situation really good. Oh, another one is her losing her, like not just failing, but her getting out of shape, her realizing that she's not as good looking as she used to be. A lot of the times that makes them go back to guys who they thought she was better than them, but were kind of like up to her level. It's kind of sad, isn't that shit, right? Like that's a, honestly that type of stuff. I'm like, bitch, don't come to me now that way that you look this way. Like I fucking hate that shit. Like I'll get so pissed off. But in terms of human nature, it's a little sad. And you and you know and you have compassion because you kind of understand their point of view. Yeah, a lot of you guys are like, who gives a fuck the lectures? <laughs> Guys are like, you work with them too much, man. You're having way too much compassion for them. <laughs> but by that time, it's, it, it might be, it's a little too late, unfortunately, you know. And you see, reg regret, having somebody regret losing you is really something that comes with no satisfaction, right? Because you don't give a fuck at that point, right? Uh, and, uh, and by that point, you maybe already matured out of it. Um, but regret is a part of life. People in your life will come to you and regret losing you. And that's just how it is, people. There's nothing you can do about that. Anyways, ladies, if you guys want to... Any, not ladies. I'm so used to making videos for ladies, guys. I'm sorry. Um, if you guys watch more of these videos, I'll make more videos for you guys. That's just how it works, people. If you guys want one, more one-on-one -on -one coaching, go to mindfulattraction.org. Don't forget, we're having 20% off all of our coaching calls using the coupon code 20. Purchase the bundle of, of all of our um, courses that I have for you guys. I may make a new course. I don't know what kind of course I'll make. But I'm going to ask you guys what type of course I should make for you guys. Um, uh, yeah, anyways, hit the like button. Hit the like button and subscribe to, to my channel, all right? See you guys later.